Hello there, future doctors. Struggling with cerebral arteries for USMLE Step 1? Let's unlock this with a high yield topic with some brain blasting tips. Perfect for crushing those neuro questions. So let's dive in. All right, let's map the brain. The anterior cerebral artery or ACA feeds the anteromedial part. Think about frontal lobe action. The middle cerebral artery, MCA, covers the lateral surface, which is key for motor and speech areas, and the posterior cerebral artery, or PCA, handles the posterior and inferior zones, like your visual cortex. Now, the watershed zones. These are the danger spots between arteries. You have got cortical zones between ACA and MCA, and PCA-MCA, plus internal zones between superficial and deep MCA territories. These are prime targets for strokes. Memorize them for USMLE Step 1. All right, now let's get clinical. Uh, watershed infarcts hit during severe hypoperfusion. First up, an ACA-MCA infarct. This is your man-in-a-barrel syndrome. Picture proximal arm and leg weakness, like someone stuck in a barrel. Super testable. Then a PCA-MCA infarct brings higher order visual dysfunction. Think about visual agnosia or hemianopnea from the occipital damage. Why does this matter? These zones are hot spots for strokes and even brain metastasis, huge for USMLE vignettes. Check the diagram to see those cortical and internal border zones in the action. Time for step one power up. This is our USMLE high yield bites, cerebral arteries and watershed zone in a nutshell. The ACA, MCA and PCA territories are your anatomy gold mines. Those watershed zones, they are where infarcts like man in a barrel syndrome or visual dysfunction strikes. Perfect for those tricky multiple choice questions. The pro tip here is link these to stroke pathology and metastasis for extra points. This stuff is high yield, so drill it in. That's it, step one champions, you have got this nailed. Hit that like button, subscribe for more high yield bites and let's ace those boards together.